Hi guys and welcome to this new fast, easy and efficient tutorial about how to create this handwritten animation effect in Adobe After Effects. I'm not an Adobe After Effects expert, but I use this software to create specific things. For example, this effect. Let's dive right in. We start already with a composition and with the video imported where we're gonna do the effect on. Then we go to the type tool and we type a text in a specific font. This effect works not as good on every font but I will explain that later in this video. For now I will literally use the font hand reading Venice in Italy. And then we're going to select the pen tool. And with the pen tool, we're zooming in and we're going to drag a line over all these letters. But it has to be one line. So we'll start here and we'll do it in the way we normally would write. Over these letters with this line. So make sure the fill is on transparent and the stroke for now you can set on, uh, for example, white, but the width you can put on zero when you're doing the line. But after we did the V, we have to go around and we have to start with the E where we would normally start writing. So that's here. And then we do the same thing with the E. So now, of course, you have to do all the letters. Don't forget that there is a dot on the I and also with this capital I I normally when I'm writing I'm also doing the middle part first and then I'm taking the upper part and then I'm going back to do this down part so then we're ending with the Y and then this is the line you created. So now we're going to take the stroke. I made it white and we're going to drag the width a little bit bigger. And, and then we drag it a little bit bigger than the thickness of the letters normally. And so now we have this really weird line. But to make sure this line goes from point A to B, we open this window, we go to add and we add a trim path. And then when we open trim path, we hit the stopwatch so you can animate it. And then starts of course with 0% and then we go for example to four seconds and then it ends with 100%. So now it goes in four seconds from the beginning of the line to the end of the line. So fold this in and then we're selecting the text that we made. Then we're going to layer, we're going to track mat and we set the track mat on alpha mat. Then at this point you see that, that the line is gone but the letters are now here. Then you see that instead of the, the line that is going from point A to point B, then now the letters that are under the line are doing the same thing. It is possible that the, maybe the letters are not as good as you wanted. Then you can always go back to the shape layer. Then you see all the points you made. With this E for example, there's a big part visible now already from the top. So we can go back to the shape layer and we can set this keyframe a little bit lower. And you can also, if you want it, go to the stroke and make it a bit bigger. But the point is that you can't make the stroke as big as you want. Because then, for example, when the line in the animation is over here, because it's a thick line, there's also a part visible from the top of the E to the, and the bottom of this part of the E. So that's why you don't want to set the thickness too high. If you want the line more smooth, you can always go back to the uh, trim pad. And you can select this point and you can go to K keyframe assistant and you can create a ease out on the first one and a ease in on the second one and then the text starts slow and then goes faster and ends also slow. This is why it works not as good with other fonts because if you take for example this font which is a beautiful handwritten font but if we take a closer look for example at this E then the line you draw have to be as big as the biggest part of this font. But if the line is over here with this E, because the line has to be so big, it already shows you a big part of the E. And it's the same for this part. When you go one frame forward, it's completely already visible. But as you've seen in the beginning of this video, because when you do the effect really fast, it's not super obvious that something is wrong. And also I like this effect more if it's a little bit faster. So that is up to you how you implement this effect. But the best fonts are letters that are not connected to each other and that are the same thickness. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, then you can always subscribe to learn more about video editing, but also the video shooting process. 
So I hope to see you the next time here on Shoot That Video. Bye.